Good evening again, everyone. I'm Anjali Kumari. I'm a third year undergraduate student in the Department of Chemistry at IIT Kharagpur. Uh, currently, I've been working as a research intern at Maritime Research Center, Pune, and my research topic is uh, water quality management system. Uh, next, uh, I would like to uh, present a short presentation to explain my project. So, uh, Let's have a quick look on the table of content that I'm going to cover throughout the presentation. Uh, the overview, uh, the water quality parameters, what are the sources of uh, water pollution, uh, what are the quality, uh, water quality standards that are set by different authorities like WHO and BIS, uh, the guidelines that I have come up uh, after, the, after the research and what are the future scopes of these guidelines and the conclusions. Now, uh, now, uh, next, uh, let's have, uh, let's understand what water quality management system is. So, when we say a uh, water quality management system, we are concerned with, uh, concerned about the water quality, the quality, uh, qualitative analysis and not the quantitative analysis. So, a water quality management system involves, uh, various steps, starting with, uh, source water monitoring, uh, assessment and analysis, treatment process, distribution system management, uh, regulatory compliance, stakeholders engagement and their education, and the continuous improvement. Now, uh, let's understand why it is important. So according, oh, sorry, uh, uh, one step back, so, sorry. Uh, so according to a, a UN report, approximately 3.5 uh, million fatalities occur annually due to the uh, poor water quality distribution and uh, the next is environmental protection. Uh, a lot of uh, biodiversity destructions are happening due to the poor water, uh, poor, poor water quality and the third one is the most important, uh, uh, the sustainable development, development which helps uh, in the agricultural and economic growth. Now next, moving on to the next slide. Uh, 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 we have uh, some uh, water quality parameters that I have been uh, analyzing. Uh, the first one is uh, physical uh, parameters, including temperature, salinity, turbidity, and color. Then chemical parameters, including uh, pH, nutri uh, nutrient contents, total dissolved solids, uh, dissolved oxygen, hardness, and heavy metal content. And then the biological uh, parameters, including uh, bacteria, pathogens, and algal blooms. Uh, I have discussed all these parameters and how they affect the quality of water in detail in one of my research notes. So yeah, next to, uh, to the, uh, moving on to the next slide. Uh, let's uh, quickly go through the sources of pollution. Uh, so. It includes uh, point sources, including uh, industrial discharge uh, and uh, wastewater treatment plants uh, discharge, and the non-point sources, including agricultural and uh, urban runoff. The natural uh, sources also uh, can also cause uh, water pollution, for example, soil erosion and animal waste. So, yeah, moving on to the next slide. Uh, so after having a good amount of uh, uh, literature review, I have come up with uh, guidelines for water quality monitoring system in the following eight steps. So step one uh, being the setting of water quality monitoring objectives, then assessment of uh, resource availability, then uh, reconnaissance of uh, reconnaissance survey, and then network design then sampling, laboratory work, and the data management, and then the quality assurance. And then, uh, now let's now discuss the components of these guidelines. guidelines. So, so after we have set the water quality monitoring objectives, uh, we need to assess the, assess the uh, resource availability. For example, uh, the laboratory facilities and their competence a good transportation system and the manpower. Uh, then step three comes uh, where they need to have a good mapping of the area where we are going to analyze the water quality and the background of information, including uh, what are the human activities going uh, uh, going through the what 
that particular water body and the potential polluting sources, uh, the water extraction and their uses, hydrological information and uh, water regulation. Then uh, the network design, uh, which includes the se selection of uh, sampling locations, the par parameters to be measured, the fre fre frequency of sampling and the components of the uh, samples, including uh, water, sediment, or biota. Then step five is uh, sampling, which uh, which uh, requires uh, representative, representative sampling, field testing, sample pre uh, preservation, and uh, transport of the sample to the laboratory after uh, all these uh, steps. And then the laboratory work comes. Uh, which include uh, physical and chemical analysis, including uh, microbiological and biological analysis of the sample. Uh, after that, uh, data management is uh, one of the most important uh, steps in the water quality man uh, monitoring system, which requires a good storage, a statical uh, analysis, presentation, interpretation, and the reporting of the data uh, uh, after the analysis. Then uh, the last step is quality assurance, which include the production of uh, reliable data and the quality control, uh, including internal and external both. So after uh, that, uh, I also came up uh, with some of the guidelines on uh, water quality management on the management aspect which include uh, availability of adequate uh, resources for water quality monitoring, awareness uh, about the objective uh, procedures and the time schedule uh, among everyone who is uh, involved in the process. And then uh, the people who are uh, involved uh, should be uh, uh, motivated and work with, full, uh, with their full interest. And there must uh, be a, uh, the accountability for everyone uh, should be fixed, and then uh, ensure uh, to ensure that there is a high, uh, there is a enough communication among all the groups, and proper transfer of uh, data, uh, availability of adequate funds, and a proper uh, uh, availability of transportation, and the annual maintenance contract. Uh, to repair uh, lab laboratory equipment and and the uh, and their uh, and the uh, regular analytical quality uh, control exercises. Uh, moving on to the uh, next uh, part, we have future scope of these solutions. Uh, that is to incorporate the advanced technologies for water quality management system with underwater domain awareness framework, which has uh, four components, uh, the blue economy, strategy, security, digital transformation, and the sustainable development. Uh, I would like to conclude my uh, presentation with the quote that says, preservation is better than cure, and uh, means nothing can be better than uh, prevention, uh, no matter how advanced the technology becomes. So thank you so much for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you.